Minecraft caves as we know them are going to be changing forever. But before I look at that, take a look at my elevation. What a negative number? Yup. Mojang has added a lot of exciting things into this snapshot. One being the cave generation, and the second one being 128 new Y levels to work with. As you can see, the new height limit for building is now 320 blocks. No longer is it 256. And if we go all the way down here, you can see that bedrock is now at Y equals negative 64. Now back to the spotlight of this update, just look at these nutty caves. These caves are so big and ores are just everywhere. Like, look at that. This is insane. So the new type of cave added into Minecraft are called noise caves. And the first type being a cheese cave, where Mojang describes like the holes in Swiss cheese. And this looks like a cheese cave as there are many holes in this cave that branch off into other areas. The second type of caves, which are a lot more straightforward, are called spaghetti caves, which are just long squiggly tunnels. And this right here is probably a spaghetti cave as it's a long and windy tunnel. Mojang has also added aquifers, which are an area with a local water level independent of sea levels. And as you can see here, there are multiple aquifers, each with their own water level. This will be neat as caves now will have pools of water at multiple Y levels. The old cave generations such as ravines and these will still remain, but they are incorporated into the new cave generation. Mine shafts have also been changed to be incorporated with these new caves. And as you can see, there's no more floating mine shafts anymore. They have these wooden support logs, which does make them look a lot nicer. And they are integrated into the new cave system. This new cave generation and decreasing bedrock to negative 64 brings some new questions about ore spawning. As you can see, diamonds here can be found usually at y equals 11, but they're also found here at y equals negative 5 and here at y equals negative 53. So where will be the most common place to find diamonds now? The good old y equals 11 that we grew up with may no longer be the case after this new update. I'm also going to mention how extremely easy it is to find ores now in these ginormous caves. Like, there are so many exposed ores. And diamonds seem a lot more common now, so I don't know if they're going to change the ore spawn rate in the future. And just look at the size of these caves, and there's so many ores. There's, there's diamonds up there, there's more diamonds right there. If we go over here, there's more diamonds, even more diamonds. Like, there's so m much more exposed diamond now. Also, just an FYI, Mojang hasn't updated the types of caves such as the dripstone caves or the lush caves they haven't been added into it into it yet as we just have the rough uh cave generation so everything you're seeing here right now is subject to change but these big caves are definitely here to stay well that's gonna wrap it up for this insane new cave generation but mojang also fixed some stuff from the previous update so i'll go over that right now so there were a lot of changes made to how drip leaves actually work and the first one is that crouching on them no longer allows you to stand on them forever, which is a good change. But yeah, as you can see, when I crouch, I, it still triggers the drip leaf and it still drops me. One thing they did add is if there's a redstone signal next to the drip leaf, then I can stand on it forever as you can hear. It's trying to drop me but the redstone signal is preventing that. I don't really understand the logistics behind this, but FYI. Also, now shooting drip leaves with a bow no longer breaks them. It will just cause them to drop like that. Also, if a drip leaf is dropped, putting a red redstone signal will immediately reset the drip leaf, 
which is good to know. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this Minecraft snapshot. I can't wait for them to add lush caves and dripstone caves into this crazy cave generation system. And I'm really looking forward to exploring these caves when Minecraft 1.17 actually comes out. Anyways, don't forget to leave a like if you learned something new about 1.17 in this video. And please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all the new changes coming to Minecraft 1.17. My name is Ray, this is Ray's Games, and I'll see you guys in the next video.